Hello student, my name is Adesh and you are watching my channel, your classroom at home. If you really want to increase your mathematics skills, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel. Student, in today's lecture, I am going to prove that if a function is invertible, then it will have unique inverse. Let f is such that x to y be an invertible function. Then show that f has unique inverse. f has unique inverse. Before solving this question, student, I would like to clear some important points related to invertible function. Here, f is invertible function. f is Invertible function. Then F will be one one function. In one one function, every domain has unique image. Every domain of F as unique image. Point number two. Since F is invertible function, so it is on to F is on to function. In on to function, the range of F is equal to codomain of F. So, range of f is equal to codomain of f. Since f is invertible function, it means its inverse exists. If inverse exists, then domain of f inverse is equals to the range of f and point number four range of f inverse is equals to the domain of f so student before solving this question you must keep in your mind all these four things. So we can assume that let all x belongs to set x and all y belongs to set y means domain of f is x and the range of f is y. So we can express f such that fx equals to y. So student, we can assume that let all x belongs to set x and all y belongs to set y. Since f is invertible function, so its inverse will exist. And we know that f o f inverse, we know that here y is the range of f. And the range of f is equal to the domain of f inverse. So here y is the domain of f inverse. So we can say f inverse y. Here f inverse y is the range of f inverse. And the range of f inverse is the domain of f. Here domain of f is x. So we can replace f inverse y as since we know that f inverse y is the range of 
tap in works and you know that range of tap in works is equals to the domain of f so we have replaced f under y by x and fx is range of f range of f is y so it means it will be an identity function now suppose that g1 and g2 are two inverse of f is possible let g1 and g2 be two inverse of f therefore f of g1 y will equals to f g1 y here f g1 y is equals to fx and fx we know that it is the range of function f and the range of function f is y so it will be an identity function y similarly f of g2 y or we can say f g2 y will equal to fx and fx is y so it is also identity function here we see that g1 y and g2 y have same image and f is already invertible function all invertible functions are one one function so every domain has unique image it means they are nothing else they will be equal since f is invertible function so f is one one function and in one one function every domain has unique image so we can say g1 by is equals to g2 by since their images are same so these domains are also equal or we can say g1 and g2 are equal so we can say f has unique inverse so friend in today's lecture i have proved that if a function is invertible then it will has unique inverse so keep watching my videos and keep practicing thank you